Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may have seen this setup before because I have light from all over. You may have seen this setup before because I I had a video where I was pretty much um talking about the fact that I'm gonna go do something this very same setup so today is Sunday and you know before the live that I'm about to join starts I decided to pour myself a glass of wine it's sorrel but I guess it's still considered wine and oh this is so good very cure because I think we've had it for about a year and a half at this point and honestly best thing if you're Caribbean you know but if you're not girl I don't know what to tell you or sir, I don't know what to tell you, but this is so good. I have to make sure that this year I get some more because this is a staple. And it's so crazy because one time you could never catch me drinking this. I just did not like it. And I feel like I'm such a texture person. Like if I don't like the texture of things then I can't, and if I don't, I, I'm just the texture person. Okay. So the texture has to be right. I can't be tasting any particles when it's in my mouth. I don't like that. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things, okay? So I'm kind of just drinking a little bit, trying to get the vibe right. I have the rest of the bottle left out there, and I'm really trying to just make this one glass last me throughout the whole entire live that I will be on because I feel like anything more than that is gonna be a little bit excessive, and that's not what I'm currently trying to do. We have 25 minutes before school time, and I'm just trying to get a buzz right now because honestly, I don't like lives. Never been on a live before. I think I've gone live once in my entire life and it was very awkward and I did not like it and so ever since then I haven't and that was from like 2017 so that was a long time ago so to be on somebody's live I have to be very cautious of what I'm seeing and like how I say it because this is live and you can't take it back like it's there and it's there but eat. let me show you guys a flyer I didn't even show it in my in my, in my video so this is us currently um setting up to go live let me see if i can fix the um so that is me um what's her name this is shay and then this is tati the one who is hosting the little talk show um segment so very exciting things are happening. She said that at 5.30 we were gonna um, get on a call. But she didn't call. So I'm wondering if we're gonna just jump straight into the live because she pretty much had already explained it to me. In a voice message, I'm gonna listen to the voice message again just to prep myself and um, I'll see you guys later. Hello you guys. I feel like I look a little crazy right now. I'm so tired. But separate from that, I've been laying down here on this couch for the past... three and a half to like four hours just chilling and like watching some YouTube videos and stuff and honestly I really feel like I'm about to tap out like it's currently nine o'clock but I honestly feel like oh my gosh you can see the bags under my eyes and everything you see when your bags are like dumb big that's exactly how you know that it's time for you to go to sleep so I think I'm gonna call it a night early it's nine o'clock right now. So what I'm gonna do is I just had my reminder go off to take my birth control. So I'm gonna take that and then I'm going to hop into the shower really quickly. Shower and pop by up into that bed. Okay. Oh hope last night when I went to bed, like I went to bed kind of late to begin with. And then wait, what time did I actually go to bed? Maybe 11.30 or like closer to 12 o'clock. Maybe 11.30 before 12. And I went to bed at that time. And then out of nowhere, like I was waking up to some noise. Only to find out that they were picking up the trash downstairs. Like the garbage truck was picking up the trash on this block. And that thing was just so loud. It woke me up. And so I feel like, because of that, normally when I go to sleep, I like to stay asleep for the duration of the time that I'm sleeping for until it's time to wake up. That sounded crazy, but bear with me. I don't like waking up 
before so say for instance i go to bed at like 11 o'clock and i'm supposed to wake up at five o'clock to go to one job then i don't want to when i go to bed at 11 o'clock i don't want to wake up before five o'clock because when that happens one when i wake up my body just wants to stay awake and it doesn't matter how long i was sleeping for and because i have that issue it takes me a long time to go back to sleep so when it takes me a long time to go back to sleep it takes away from the sleep time obviously and then in the morning, I ended up feeling so tired. I think I woke up at like 2 o'clock and I was so annoyed when I realized that it was 2 o'clock. Like, I went and pee really quickly. But I was just keeping my eyes closed the whole time. Like, come on, Janine, go back to sleep. Because you have to wake up in a couple hours to be at work. And I was very, very annoyed. Anyways, this morning when I woke up, I wasn't feeling too bad. So, that was good. But um, throughout the day, like, I felt the, like how tired I was catching up to me however I knew that I was gonna be off um tomorrow so it didn't matter that much and so I got my lunch and I was sitting there eating lunch I ate my lunch within like the first 10 minutes of the hour and then um I said I was gonna I watched a video or two and then I said or did I edit a video something and then I said I was gonna sleep for the next half an hour and just as I was about to sleep my friend texted me you know when your friends send you those messages that you literally have to call them for it was one of those messages and so I had to call her and we ended up staying on the phone for the rest of my lunch time so I didn't get to sleep and I said I was gonna come home and sleep and everything and I came home and ended up cooking why would I do that and I'm off tomorrow I don't even know Sometimes I feel like, um, especially in a week where I'm getting one day off, I really want to just use the one day off to actually rest my body. And so I don't want to do any cooking or like any of that. And so I feel like that's what I wanted tomorrow to be, which is one of the reasons why I made sure that I made something really quickly just now. I feel like I'm going to end up making some chicken or something tomorrow still. Or yeah, definitely tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow because I'm not going to have any lunch for the other job the following day so I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow so so far it looks like I'm gonna have a cute little day ahead of me so um I'm really on the days where I don't work I have no alarms going off because there's no point you know what I mean I want to sleep I don't want to wake up at seven o'clock and sometimes my body still does that you know so tomorrow I am aiming to sleep until at least 11 a.m. I feel like I'm dragging it that's not gonna happen not the way how my body is set up, but I'm really hoping here. Um, yeah, my husband should be coming back tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, so that's another thing too. Like anytime after 10 or 11 a.m. is perfectly fine with me because I just want to sleep peacefully uninterrupted. That's all. But um, yeah, I wanted to pop in, say hi to you guys. Um, I think this is an addition to a vlog. Anyways, I think I'll pick this back up tomorrow because I'm tired. I look crazy. My hair is a mess. And um... I want to go shower right now and just go to sleep so I'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys so fresh out the shower I'm not sure if I look any different separate from the fact that what I'm wearing changed I don't know if I'm the only person but honestly when I'm going to my bed I'd be wearing the bare minimum because I be getting so hot and it doesn't matter what season it is summer winter autumn spring I'm hot okay so I just got out of the shower and I really had to just wrap my hair all the way up just now so that I didn't get wet in the shower because I'm not completely over my hair being straight yet. The kitchen currently looks very clean um, because I picked up on the table here. So the only thing is currently on here is the centerpiece, which it's the holidays. I need to change that. I have another, what do you call this thing again? Runner for the table that looks very festive. I just need to find it tomorrow. And I have this bowl here with candy that I just have laying around here. When I'm going to work, I always have candy with me because I feel like I always need a pick-me-up where it concerns sugar. And I have this little bag over here. This looks very ratchet, but I promise you, it is the best way to separate the recycle from the regular trash, which we need it. What I did was I went ahead and I baked a sweet potato inside of the microwave so that tomorrow if I get up and I feel like I want to do some meal prepping and I want to use sweet potato, sweet potato, then that's already ready to go and I haven't had that in a while to be honest. And I actually went through and cleaned up the sink so right now the sink is currently clean. 
there are no dishes in there so tomorrow when i wake up i'm gonna be waking up to a clean kitchen and pretty much an overall clean apartment which is definitely what i want um i don't really leave the bathroom door open because there are no windows from the bathroom leading to outside and i kind of like when it airs out so leaving it open right now but let me show you guys something this is bad this is the current setup of the living room i wanted the throw to look very sloppy but i don't really like how it looks right now but it's nighttime nobody is here i'm not putting on a show so it's gonna stay like that for right now i need to get a different color too that looks more festive and more like in the holiday spirit but i bought this for roche you guys and this whole middle section like two two full aisles or empty like two full rows are empty right now which i feel like is so crazy and i'm so tempted to like eat a few right now but i will not even do that because honestly that's not gonna help nobody and it is kind of late tomorrow i might end up changing the polish on my nails to like a nude that i had on last week my toes look atrocious right now and I was wondering if tomorrow I wanted to just pop by because out the block they have like the nail salons or whatever. I was wondering if I wanted to just go by tomorrow and get like a nice little pedicure or whatever. I think the weather should be nice tomorrow too, which you don't really be getting those days like that. But I don't really know because nothing I hate like paying my money and I'm not satisfied. So I don't really know. And I feel like that's something that's super simple too, like painting my nails myself. But I also have those moments where I feel like I want to just go sit down and be pampered, but we don't know. I guess I have to wait for tomorrow to see how I really feel. But this is where I'm going to wrap up this video for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking your heads off. And I will see you guys in the next video.